Hey there. Hey there. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. I am Rashawn Ali. Of course, this is the beautiful Selena Johnson. <laughs> and Francesca Emeka is in for yes. Miss Quad Thank today. <laughs> we definitely appreciate you being here. Yes, we and do. we love, you know, Francesca, this is, uh, I know you get to sit down with a lot of uh, celebrities lot. Yes. And, and stars. So I know this is right up your alley. Yeah. And our sister Quad had the chance to sit down with a darling we yes. all love who has been in the industry since 227. Brenda oh Jenkins. God. That's mm -hmm. right. And she's just doing her things. And Miss Quad recently sat down with uh, the beautiful Miss Regina, Regina King. Yes, 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 she is. So here is uh, Regina King and Miss Quad. Hey, y'all. <laughs> well, Regina, I am so pleased to be sitting here with you. It's such an exciting moment for me. Um, we were kind of merged together via right. a mutual friend, and it's just great to um, spend, spend some time with you today. Awesome. Same be same year. What? I get into this. Now, you know I used to watch it on 227. Yeah. I loved you on 227. <laughs> I was like, look at Brenda. <laughs> How was that experience for you? I mean, you've been in the game for a long time. It has been a while. Mm -hmm. It has been a while, and it still feels like I'm, you know, um, there's a lot of uncharted territory yes. out there. Um, it's been a wonderful journey. Yeah. And, and it has been a journey. You know, I'm, I wouldn't change my trajectory even if... Um, I had to start all over again and mm -hmm. do it. I've always been surrounded by such supportive people, so many great teachers, mm -hmm. so many great mentors, and um, it's been it's been great. So, did you always know you wanted to do acting? Um, no, okay. I think that um, I was lucky enough to have a mother that allowed us to do Good. whatever we wanted, like. You know, I have ballet classes, baton lessons, <laughs> I did even accordion lessons. Yes. So my mother, as long as we finished it, correct. You know, she um, supported it, and I think it was probably maybe after two two seven was canceled mm -hmm. that I um, realized that my hobby should be a career choice. Right. I was right. Um, at USC and. This uh, professor, I fell asleep in class, uh -oh. and he was pointing out people. It was one of those lecture classes, and uh, he was pointing out people. I didn't know why he was pointing out people, and he pointed me out to stay after. So it was like six of us, and he was like, you will not sleep in my class. And I was like, I'm not here on a scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> if I pay to be here, yes, yes. if I want to be so stupid to just bring a pillow and a blanket right, and right. park in the back of your class, you can do I can do that. Right. And around that time, <laughs> I kind of discovered that, yeah, I think it's I want to do that. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Well, I mean, you, you do a, such a phenomenal job. Uh, and you have just grown in so many ways and, and even directing now. Yeah. So a lot of people, I don't know if they know that you've directed some scenes in Scandal and mm -hmm. This Is Us and The Good Doctor. Um, how did that come about for you? Um, I think it was just a natural progression. I've been working over 30 years mm -hmm. in this industry uh -huh. and I'm always learning along the way. And somewhere, um, I guess around... Um, 2010. The 2010? Jaheen. The Jaheen video, is that what it was? Okay, <laughs> yes. so there you go. Um, that was... She actually directed that, by the way. Yeah. She directed the entire video. Yeah. Um, well, when you direct a show, you direct the entire show episode. <laughs> um, so um, that uh, was my first uh, time. I think I just said out loud what I'd been feeling inside for a long time that I want to direct. And yeah. from there, just started um, calling on all my mentors. And mm -hmm. Paris Barkley was a, a huge... Uh, supporter and he watched the video mm -hmm. without the volume on mm -hmm. and he was like oh you told a story because he understood videos and kn knows that you the director writes the treatment for the video so he saw that and he pointed me in the direction of the abc mm -hmm. um director's diversity program and the warner brothers uh directing workshop and he said that people if you want them to take you seriously, they need to see that you will make sacrifices to um, gain knowledge. Message. And, yeah. <laughs> and so that's what I did mm -hmm. and kind of kept going from there. Oh, yes, it is. The stories that are being told about black women in Hollywood now, how do you think that they are? You, do you feel that it's being true to who we really are or they are still creating narratives about black women? Um. 
Hmm. Um, that's a loaded question. Uh, what are you talking? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that they are true to who we are because we are so layered. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Even if they're a little fantasy, um, we still believe that um, black women can do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So while maybe the storyline may not be rooted in truth, it is wonderful and fantastic to see us not be the wife or the best friend, hmm. you know? How about that? Yeah. Really smart women. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, um, you have definitely had staying power. And with there being so little roles for African-American women in Hollywood, what do you think it is about you that you constantly land awesome roles? And sometimes roles that's probably not designed right. for an African-American woman. Right. Um, what is it about me? Hmm. I, I, I think that, look, I'm not going to sit here and act like I didn't work really hard to be here, that mm -hmm. I didn't um, um, uh, do all of the work that needs to be done so when the opportunity comes, mm -hmm. you're prepared. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I did that. Still doing that. And yes. I feel like you you should never stop Absolutely. doing that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I think that might have something to do with it. I think having um, a mother that allowed us to dream, mm -hmm. um, allowed us to dream big and uh, uh, made it very clear to us that your dreams can come true. Absolutely. Um, and putting us in spaces and environments that allowed us to see that actually happen. Yes. So sometimes you, you, you a parent will say, "Oh, you can do anything," <laughs> but if you don't see it, you don't. You, yeah. You're just hearing yeah. it. Yeah. So um, you know, my mother took us to see Timbuktu when Eartha wow. Kitt came yes. to L.A. to perform it at the Amundsen Theater, and I thought that was the most amazing, amazing magical woman mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. in life. Yes, you know, when yes. they walked her out and she's <laughs> in the splits and they're, you know, the, they're carrying her out and she's like, welcome yes. to Timbuktu. <laughs> and I was like, she's the queen. Yes. And she's everything. Yes. And um, just having opportunities mm -hmm. to see that at nine years old, yeah. and eight years old, yeah. just makes the sky the limit. And we're back on Sister Circle Live with more Miss Quad's interview with Regina King. Take a look. Netflix. Netflix. Seven seconds. Yeah. My God. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I realize is um, just being black in America, mm -hmm. there was preparation all my life mm -hmm. for it, you know? So, unfortunately, you know, but fortunately, yes. um, uh, Vina Sood, who's the creator of the show, uh, thought that I was the right person mm -hmm. for that role, even though I didn't want to play that role. I wanted to play the KJ role. And in hindsight, I realized that it was because it was so uh, much emotion. Yeah. I think I was scared to dive into that. And um, I, I just, I, I'm thankful that she saw me to do it because mm -hmm. I, I feel like um, I, uh, it was very important to yeah. me to uh, honor the pain that these parents yeah. who have truly experienced this carry every day. Right, right, right. My God, what did you do to decompress? Hi. <laughs> um, I, Russell Hornsby was such a, an amazing, yeah. um, you know, person to lean, be, on. to lean on and be lean on each other yeah. and, and to yeah. dive into uh, the story with. I, I really think we that that's how we decompress, mm -hmm. just talking about it afterwards, not talking about it, finding times yeah. to laugh yes. in between yes. things that dark moments that we were having, yeah. finding moments on set to mm -hmm. laugh. Well, Regina, thank you so much for spending some time with Sister Circle. We truly do thank appreciate you. it and continued success. Thank you. Amazing. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms.